Hello guys, welcome back to Silent Studios once again. Here's a Mangit K, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to use the then rich skin tone lat in Photoshop. But before we dive into the video, I want to thank everyone who downloaded this product on my digital store. It really means a lot to me, and I hope it serves the purpose which is being made for. So yeah, let's dive into it. So you can see this image right here has gone through all the necessary editing process but it's left with the skin tone matching because you could see the face is different from the back or the hand so we want to match it and then this is where the 10 rich skin tone comes in it's going to give you a rich skin tone and then this is the outcome of it so i would like to show you guys um how it looked after so this is the before and then this is the after so we want to derive this right in photoshop so yeah join me okay um let me add this to this window yes so since we've downloaded the product we just move right down here and then we click on color lookup once you click on color lookup it's going to a small pop-up menu will come in then you click on load 3d lats when you click on it you locate where you place your downloaded file which is the 10 rich skin tone lats and then you click on any of this or the one that's going to match the skin tone of your image so let's try the rich skin tone one and then we load it and after loading it this is how it's going to come we are not done you can see this is not looking all that good but you are going to make it look good when you follow this video so what you do is um you come to the blending mode over here and then you choose color color works perfectly for me almost all my skin tones i place the color mode on color yes and the blending mode on color sorry but you can also choose to use soft light uh -huh. So, for this video, I'll be using color, but later on, if you want to use soft lights, that's okay. Yes, not compulsory, you should go my way. You can break the rules. Yes, yeah, so after doing this, you can see there's been a change in our first process. So, what you have, what you have to do is um, you have to invert this layer mask. Yes, you can do that with your control eye. If you've been watching my videos from um the previous ones you know that we've been using control i for a long time to invert our layer mask here so after doing that you go for your brush tool and then you reveal the effect on only the skin aspects yeah so instead of it spilling out on all of the image you have to invert it and then brush on the skin only so yeah i'll be doing a roughy work just for the sake of the video so it won't be too long but you can take your time then select out um the skin and then when brushing if you by mistake brush on the eyes later on you have to use the your brush to take out the eyes and then the teeth and then the lips and even the eyeshadow as well so after you've selected your brush make sure you're on the white foreground color and then increase your brush size to a preferred choice and then you brush to reveal the effect yes so uh brush gently let me see i've selected fully the face aspects it's uh, a bit of this place too. The brushing doesn't look perfect, but you guys have to bear with me. I don't want to make this video too long. Ah. So just some few strokes, and then we are through. So yeah, after doing this, you are not done. You can see the effect is really, really harsh. You can 
to add the opacity but as i said earlier when you mistakenly brush on the eyes you have to take them out so maybe you could zoom in a little and then you can change your foreground color with the help of the x key on your keyboard so once you press x it, the foreground color changes to black which means it's going to take out or it's going to clean the place where you brush earlier so we are taking out the eyes and then the lips too i think we have to increase our brush a little and we clean that aspect and even on the eyebrow here so yeah after we are done you can also click on the slash key on your keyboard to know where you've brush and where you've not yes it's also a guide for you so after doing that you press on the slash again to clear off that effect and then here yeah, we are back to um, reducing our opacity because the effect is too harsh so normally 30 percent works for me but i don't know sometimes um, it decreases and sometimes it increases so let's use 30 for this and let's see yes it is 30 percent and then let's check the before and after you could see it's giving us rich skin tones if you think the effect is too harsh you can reduce it to about 20 percent and for you getting the 20 percent you can just press 2 on your numeric aspect of your keyboard yes and then you get it right away so now i want 40 i just press 4 then i get it i want 50 i just press 5 and then i get it yes so we want our skin tone opacity to be on 20 yes this looks very very natural we don't want to make the effect too obvious yes so before and then after before and after so yeah this is where i'll be ending you guys and i'll be bringing you more massive products and more educative videos so stay tuned and also subscribe and then share my videos to others Thank you and I'll be back with more 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 videos. Bye.